What sales promotion techniques are used to reach businesses? I've got six of them for you, and then I've got a seventh killer secret you're not gonna wanna miss. So join me for all of that on this episode of The Inside BS Show. Hi, it's Dave Lorenzo, and today's show is all about the sales promotion techniques that are used to reach businesses. You asked me about this specific topic down in the comments of another video, and I'm happy to oblige you and give you six great sales promotion techniques that you can use to reach businesses, and then I'm gonna give you a seventh killer secret. You gotta stay with me all the way to the end of this video to find out the killer secret that will make your life easier. It's a shortcut and you don't wanna miss it. All right, let's dive right into the content. Number one, the first sales promotion technique that's used to reach businesses, educational speeches. Standing up in front of a group or an audience and giving a speech that educates, that entertains, and that informs. For the past probably 25 or maybe even close to 30 years, I've given speeches to groups and organizations as a way to generate leads. It is one of my favorite sales promotion techniques. How do I do it? Well, I look at the audience and I determine what issues the audience may have, what problems they have that I can solve. And then I go back through the work that I've done with my clients over the years and I match those problems and solutions with some stories and case studies. And I tell those stories, I deliver the case studies, sometimes I even bring the people who are the subjects of the case studies with me and we do the speech together. And at the end of the speech, I make an offer to people in the audience that if they give me their contact information, I will share with them either a guide or a video series or a promotional product that answers a lot of the questions that I raised during the speech. Because you see, in a 45 minute or even one hour speech, you can only do so much. So I offer the audience members something special for attending, a follow-up piece of information. Everyone who gives me their contact information receives that follow-up piece of information in the form of an email and they leave with the knowledge that I shared with them and they also get access to the report or the video series that I use to get their contact information. After that, I follow up with an email and a phone call to see if they have any questions. And if they do have questions, it's the perfect time for me to sell my services to them. So as far as a sales promotion technique that's used to reach businesses, if you have business leaders in the audience of your speech, you're ready to go. You just need to make an offer of something really good, really powerful, so that people can get more information from you. Now, if you wanna see this in action, far be it from me not to give you an example, I have my Revenue Roadmap Guide. That is a guide to an entire sales promotion plan that you can use to grow your business right now. All you need to do is scroll down in this video when you, where you see the description, you'll see free gift from Dave and there's a website there, revenueroadmapguide.com. Go to that website, enter your contact info and you'll get my 27 page Revenue Roadmap Guide, which is my sales promotion guide that you can use right now to target businesses yourself. So educational speeches are fantastic, offer something to the audience, and it's a great sales promotion technique that you can use to reach businesses. Sales promotion technique number two is an education event that's hosted by you. You invite people over to your office, 10, 15, 20, 30 people, and you do an educational event, a half day or sometimes even a full day event, and you teach them all about solving the problems that you solve in your business. You heard me correctly. You're inviting people into your office. Sometimes you can charge for these events and sometimes you're not going to want to charge. You invite them over to your office and you do some teaching about solving the problems that you solve for your clients. You're gonna teach them how to do what you do. And you may be thinking to yourself, Dave, why on earth would I teach people to solve the problems that I solve? Well, when you're teaching them how to solve these problems, it's going to be so complex and it's going to be so far out of their wheelhouse that they're not gonna to want to solve the problems themselves. They're gonna want you to solve the problems. For example, if you did a half day seminar on 
how to avoid taxes and how to make sure your business was structured so that you paid the least amount of taxes possible, the people who come to that speech are then going to want you to restructure their businesses. They're going to want you to implement the strategy of avoiding taxes. They're not going to want to do it themselves because they're not qualified to. So hosting an educational event yourself in your office is fantastic because you're teaching people about your expertise. Nobody has more credibility than you because you're the teacher. They're going to want you to help them in a big, big way. That's promotional technique number two to reach businesses. Sales promotion technique number three is a direct mail sequence. I know what you're thinking. Hey Dave, in this age of digital advertising, why would I want to use mail? Why would I want to write a letter and then put that letter in the mail and go to the post office and have to deal with all that? Well, you're going to want to do this because it works. People don't get as much direct mail as they used to. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to write a three letter sequence. And in that three letter sequence, you're going to highlight the pain your clients feel and you're going to highlight how you take away that pain. You're going to mail these letters at two week intervals. So you're going to send three letters out over six weeks. And the call to action in the letter is critical. The call to action is going to be either to get your free report by opting in using an email address or to simply pick up the phone and call you and you will send them a free report that helps them solve the problem you mentioned in the letter. So let's use the example again of helping people save money by restructuring their business for tax purposes. You're going to mail out a letter that, that reads, Mr. Smith, we think we can save you money because businesses that are organized the way yours is often pay 15 to 20% more in taxes than they should. We can ask you three simple questions that will determine whether our restructuring program is a good fit for you and you can start saving that money in taxes right away. In order for us to ask you these three questions, you need to give us a call. Here's my phone number. That's your letter. I mean, you're going to put a greeting at, on it. You're going to close it properly and professionally. You're going to put a stamp on the letter. You're going to write the address on the front and you're going to drop it in the mail. You're going to mail that same letter out three different times. Mr. Smith's going to want to save money on his taxes, so he's going to call you. That direct mail sequence can be applied to any industry. If you're in the B2B sales space and you're looking for a sales promotion technique that works, direct mail is phenomenal. A three letter sequence is amazing. You're going to get a one to 2% response rate. So with a list of 100 people, you're going to get two clients. With a list of 1,000 people, you're gonna get 20 clients. Good enough, I think it's good enough. You write the letter one time, you have somebody from your team put it in the mail and you're done. That's sales promotion technique number three. Now we're up to sales promotion technique number four. If you wanna reach businesses, a great way to do that is by using Facebook or Google advertising. Now, you need to have an ad budget in order to do this, but that type of advertising will allow you to hone in on a specific target and it is really effective at doing that. So if you go to Facebook and you do a search for exactly who your ideal client is by occupation, by title, by age, and by geography, you're going to be able to target them with ads that speak directly to the pain they're feeling and you're going to be able to convince them that you can take away that pain. Now, the ad has to be really focused from a targeting perspective, but it also has to be focused from a messaging perspective. So this means that your message needs to be spot on. So when you do your ad, it has to speak directly to the pain and it has to give them a specific call to action. Again, I recommend that that call to action is simply a report or some type of educational material that helps them take away that pain. So if I were doing a Facebook ad, I would put in the Facebook ad, shortcuts for sales promotion to businesses, you're looking to get more business clients, I can give you a shortcut. Simply visit revenueroadmapguide.com, download my free report that will give you sales promotion techniques that you can use to reach businesses right now. That's the ad. It would be a little picture of me holding up my report, the revenue roadmap report, and you would click on it, you'd opt in, you'd get it, and I'd have someone I could communicate with and follow up with. 
That's sales promotion technique number four, Facebook and Google advertising. Sales promotion technique number five is LinkedIn outreach. Now, this is not what you think. I'm not talking about spamming people on LinkedIn to get them to try and call you for help with their problems. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you looking up your clients on LinkedIn and seeing who your clients are connected to. And then calling your client and saying, hey Joe, I see you're connected on LinkedIn to Phyllis Jones. And I see Phyllis Jones is the CEO of ABC Corporation. Well, I can help ABC Corporation save money on their accounting services and I can help them with their succession planning problems by restructuring their business. I'd love to meet Phyllis Jones. I'm going to draft an email. Would you mind sending it to her and copying me so that then I can follow up because you'll have introduced us. And then that person who you've, your client who you've looked up on LinkedIn may say, you know what, I'll do you one better, I'll invite you both to lunch. Or I'll do you one better, I'll invite you both to a Zoom meeting. And then you two can connect on Zoom or over lunch. Your outreach will have been turned into a referral. That's the way you use LinkedIn for outreach purposes. If you do three of these a day, five days a week, that's 15 of those introductions, at least half of them are going to become connections where you can then do business with those other people. That's a fantastic way for you to be introduced to new people. I love this method of LinkedIn outreach because it's more personal, and that is sales promotion technique number five. We've got two sales promotion techniques left. We've got number six, and then we got my killer secret you're not gonna wanna miss. Thanks for sticking with me through this video. Now, let's go to number six. Number six is a cold email. And again, it's not spam, it's an email you're sending to someone you've never met. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the cold email a little differently. You're going to, again, do some research and figure out who your best clients know. You're going to ask them if you can use their name in an email They'll say yes, and you're gonna tell them, hey listen, I'm gonna reach out to 15 people who I know that you know, and I'm going to say that you and I work together and I wanna share the latest techniques I'm using with you. In the subject line of your cold email, you're going to say, message from Phil Jones, that's your client's name, dot, 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 that's what the subject line is going to read, message from Phil Jones, and then in the email, you're going to say, dear Phyllis, Phil Jones, gave me your name because he thought it would be great for us to connect based on the work I'm doing with him. And then you're gonna highlight the work you're doing with the client, you're going to drop his name again in the email, and you're going to ask if you can follow up with a phone call. You'll find that half the people respond, and they're responding because you've got your client, their friend's name, not only in the subject line, but in the email. You're going to use this again in a three email sequence. Now email can be separated one week apart. I know direct mail I said was separated by two weeks. Email can be separated one week apart and you're going to send those out over three weeks. If you want a little bonus, I would do that same text from that email in direct mail as well and I would send them out in alternating weeks. Week one is direct mail, week two is email, week three is direct mail, week four is email, week five is direct mail, week six is email. So over six weeks, you're connecting with this person, mentioning the name of your friend with permission, and then you're going to see exactly how magical this can be. Doubling up like that, doing direct mail and alternating with cold email every other week works like magic, you'll get three quarters or 75% of the people to respond to you in some way. All right, now it's time for the killer secret, the number seven thing that I promised you, the sales promotion technique that you can use to reach businesses. This killer secret is strategic alliance partnerships. You connect with someone else who's targeting your exact audience. So I'm in the business of teaching you how to grow your business, I might coordinate with a social media manager and we might work together and she would mail my letters to her list and I'll mail her letters to my list so both lists are covered. I get the exact benefit of having her promote me to her list. So she might put her name at the top of my list. You know, this is an email from me 
Sylvia Bernstein, and I'm introducing you to Dave Lorenzo. He's my favorite business consultant on sales promotion techniques. He likes to help his clients using this method. Here's what he says to his clients, and then you put my text right below it. That's one way to do a strategic alliance partnership with direct mail. Just reverse that then with me introducing her to my list. You can do strategic alliance partnerships with live events. You can do videos where the two of you are together on video. The reason this is a killer secret, the reason this is so powerful is because you could start with no business and have someone introduce you to their list of clients and you could pick up three, four, five clients immediately and that immediately enhances what you're doing to grow your business. You've got a ready-made, warmed up audience that you can communicate with because this person is promoting you to their list and you're promoting this person to your list. Those are the seven sales promotion techniques used to reach businesses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it's the first in a series. So join me for other videos in this series. You'll see the videos listed right here on this page. Click that link right now and I'll see you in our next video.